Yeah, hi guys, this is an unboxing of a ShowerGuard Smart Shower Timer. The purpose of this video is to help the plumber and the electrician in the installation of it. So, when you get it in the mail, it'll be in a cardboard box, just like this, well packaged. We send them all over the world. Most of them seem to go to Australia these days. The first thing that the electrician will notice when he opens the box is the controller. When he takes the cover plate off, he will see three trim pots. The top one is for the shower timer setting. That can be set from 2 to 20 minutes. The factory setting is 5 minutes. For every minute of shower time that is set, an LED light will flash once red. He will install that in a horizontal flush box with the cover plate on it and next to it a single uh, power on, power off switch. On the reverse of this controller, he will see his power supply, phase neutral, and numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. They correspond to wiring that will go down to where the plumber has installed the solenoid valve, and he will connect them up to the little distribution box 1, 2, 3, 4. On the other side is his cabling for the solenoid and also for the flow switch. When he powers that up back to the distribution board, he just needs to make sure that it's RCD protected. Now the plumber, he will receive a normally open a mains pressure or low pressure solenoid valve. What he needs to do is to determine the in and the out direction. On the in direction, which is the direction from which the hot water will come, whether it's electric or gas, takes the nippling, hemps it up so that he's got something to securely fit uh, the solenoid valve to so that it's stable. He can screw that. On the other side is the flow switch. The flow switch is clearly marked top in the direction of flow. He hemps that up, he screws that in on the opposite side. So just to be clear, we've got the hot water source on this side and the flow switch on the shower side. Unless it's installed like that, there will be problems with the controller knowing when and when not to start the, the timer. It must be installed horizontally in a vertical plane like that, hemped up and made secure. That's the plumber's job. The electrician will then take the flow switch, connect it up to the two little prongs that are on the um, distribution box here, and then wire it up in accordance with his own trade practice. These jail timers have a life expectancy of about 50 years. They should run faultlessly uh, for many, many years. The um, cost to run is around about 15 cents a minute. It's all very, very small current that's used. My name's Alan. I'm the developer and the inventor of this product. We've been making these since 2004. My contact details are always there in the box. Um, if you run into any problems, you're welcome to give me a call. If I cannot solve them, I will send you to our electrical engineers in the factory. Plumbing is pretty straightforward. I'm sure most of you plumbers will have no problems installing this. Once you've done one or two, it'll be a piece of cake. The only thing I might suggest from a plumbing point of view is that you install it into a length of polybutylene pipe to help absorb some of the shock um, from water hammer. So thanks very much, guys, for your time. And I hope this is of some value to you all.